A good friend of mine, Kari Paukola, once again, he organized me a trip, a photo trip to the coast of Finland. We went to a small town of Pori, and in front of Pori there's a peninsula stretching to the Baltic Sea, and this peninsula is called Reposaari. <laughs> Hard Finnish names with rolling R's, Reposaari. Anywho, it has a nice about two miles long beach facing to the west, so the light is perfect. It's a rocky beach with all kind of rock formations and, and little forests and whatnot. So a lot of interesting photo opportunities. There's a little pond and all kind of stuff. At the other side of this peninsula, there's a, a small town and there's one really nice sort of a blue color restaurant <laughs> that serves homemade food. So we ate there first and then we headed to the cabin and Kari had found us a place to stay overnight it was a cabin on the beach so that was an extra plus no need to travel further you can just step out and start to take photographs now it was a bit rainy though and Kari was very protective about his gear and so he shot some pictures from the balcony or terrace of that little cabin, but I headed out to the rain. I found a way to photograph with my Rolleiflexes and Hasselblads and Kievs with this chimney type of the viewfinder in the rain and keep these cameras totally dry. I want to show you how I do it. <laughs> so basically you just need a regular umbrella. The bigger, the better, but just a regular umbrella would do. Keep the umbrella between my chin and my shoulder, and I get my two hands totally free. And I can take pictures like this. I can even change the film here under the cover of my umbrella, and it keeps my camera totally dry, and I can shoot in the rain pictures like this. Yeah, that looks totally stupid, but you should try it. It actually works. You know, and I use it all the time, regardless of what it makes me look like. <laughs> hey, so it was a short trip, but I wanted to take a full advantage of it. So I thought about in advance a little bit about, so what could I do? And instead of taking individual pictures, I had a little bit different strategy. I wanted to take little small series, like the bodies of work. And I did that more or less by, you know, staying in one spot and taking a little bit more pictures from that one spot, instead of wandering around and going all over the, the, the beach. I took this series with my Rolleiflex 2.8F uh, using Pancro 400 film that I developed in Adox XT3. It's an extol copy. I like this combination more and more. You know, I've been I've been shying away lately from the clean, crisp look, and I've started to like more images that have a certain softness in them. Not out of focus, not softness like, like sloppy softness, but softness that maybe have more nuances. And I, I noticed that I early pushed, for example, contrast much more than I do today. I like less contrast now than I liked earlier. Maybe this is a phase, maybe it's just something that actually renders so nicely with Pancro 400 that I, I do that quite a bit. But let's take a look at the first one. Let's call this an early morning.
And then a next small group of pictures, a mini series if you will. Let's call it a rainy day. Okay, then the last series that we may want to call the late night. Uh, it was getting darker so I needed to find my tripod and, and start to use longer exposure times like up to two or three seconds. And I took pictures like this. Now, in addition to my Rolleiflex and those series, I also took one more small series. But this series is dictated by the tool. <laughs> I had my Graflex Speed Graphics with an attached enlarger condenser lens on it with me. Now, those of you who've been here before on my channel, you've seen this. I, I've used this quite a bit. It's a strange piece because it really distorts the pictures and, and make them really of bad quality. Now it was in some of those pictures getting late and I used Formapan 100 film. Formapan 100 being a fairly nice film has an extremely aggressive um, reciprocity failure chart. That means that when the exposure times get longer, then the film gets less and less capable of storing the light. So you need to start to extend the exposure times. Some of the pictures had like 8 minute exposure times. But in this particular series, it's no longer the necessarily the spot or the subject that creates this series, it is this tool that creates the series because they all look a bit same just because of this weird combination. Hey, that was a nice trip. Kari, thanks again. We gotta do these trips, because at least I'm learning a lot. Uh, for the rest of you, once again, thanks for joining. Next time, something else.